This is the biggest mold I have ever done. It's so small. This face. How can I say no? Oh, that is that is gorgeous. I freaking I love this. Who thought of this? Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Smash or Pass, the mystery mold edition. We are smashing the pieces we don't like, as in the pieces that come out of the mold, not the mold themselves. We'll find a nice home for those and passing the ones on we do to the mystery mold series. We are halfway through this mini series, I'm only doing 8 episodes, so let's get into it and pick some molds. I have wanted to do one of these really big ones down the bottom because it looks like a two part piece. It's got a permanent marker inscription on it saying it's a puppy ear bag dispenser. So I want to see what that is. This one's so small, I want to do this too. I've been up here digging around trying to find another one so that's not like on the front. And I've just pulled this one out. It says dog box on the side, so I think it'll go well with the puppy one we've already picked. I've also been eyeing off this orange one, so I'll grab that too. keep going because otherwise you get rings in your paw and it wouldn't have worked so I'm gonna clean that up now before I pour the other bit <laughs> all right let's open this monster I'm actually nervous <laughs> this is the biggest mold I have ever done The joy dogs bring me. What a cutie. What a good boy. It looks like a little butt lid. <laughs> this looks like it goes in the Fido's butt. <laughs> the lid is his butt. Let's see if the butt fits. Oh, that is just so funny. It makes so much sense that this is a bag dispenser because you could put your puppy's poopy bags in here and pull them out. Like, obviously you could do normal bags as well, but that is just the wackiest thing ever. I love it. I'm just trying to think of the logistics of it, of trying to keep this piece. Oh, I don't know. So I would pass this on in a heartbeat if it were smaller and it didn't take up so much room in my kiln. I don't know what to do, I'm attached. I literally thought because of the size of this, I would say smash straight away. This face, how can I say no? I think I'm actually gonna pass it on. I wanna do just one. And um, I think you guys should give me some ideas on what color we should paint it and what we should add to it. I really love them, maybe we can add a bow. I'm smashing it just for fun because the cast is ruined anyway. That was really not. All right, this little tiny one, let's open it. Oh, it looks like a little tiny bowl. So small. I love this so much. I can imagine actually making this into a little fridge magnet and then having a cluster of these on a fridge or even just making some tiny little foods in there. How cute would it be to have like some pasta or alphabet soup? That is definitely a pass. I love it. So let's see what's inside this one. Oh! Oh my gosh! It looks like the dog from Lady and the Tramp. It looks like a little dog is curled up on a fancy little cushion. It's a box. It's a dog in a box. It's a dog in a taco box. It's a dog in a taco box. For those who don't know, in Australia we have these like big icons and these national, they're called like landmarks. 
but they're not your typical landmark like your Sydney Harbour Bridge or the Great Barrier Reef. It's like a funny, weird one, like the Great Big Banana. There's the Big Ram, the Big Lobster, which I've seen. Oh, we've got a big koala. They're just kind of everywhere and they're throughout Australia. It's a big mission to go and visit all the big things in Australia. One of the ones that's a little bit underwhelming is there's this one on the road to Melbourne, to Sydney, and it's called the dog on a tucker box. If you don't want a big drive between Melbourne and Sydney, make sure you call past Gundagai and see the dog, dog on a tucker box. Every single time we drive past that, we're like, oh, let's go to the dog on the tucker box. Let's go on the dog on the tucker box. And so when I realized that this was like a dog sitting on a box, that's why I got a little bit excited because I thought it was so funny that I've got my own version of <laughs> the dog on a tucker box. Oh, that is, that is gorgeous. I freaking, I love this. Who thought of this? This is just so special. The fact that you could put something in here, like some little dog treats too, is so cute. It's a pass. All right, doing this one now, it says S1028. It's got two bigger holes and then two little holes. Oh, it's got this on the side. Hmm. Kissing angel sounds a bit interesting. If you have wondered why this one is a little bit more orange, it's because whoever had this before actually used a lot of terracotta clay with it. So you can see it's got quite an orange tinge to it. <sighs> okay, so we've actually got two children here that <laughs> do appear to be kissing like the mold says. If I'm being honest, I really just don't like cupidy kind of angel guardian stuff unless it's a certain style. This is not the style I like. The wings that I do like, I have done, and I think that they're really beautiful. It's a certain level of detail that I like. So the wings are meant to go on. I really don't like that. I really do not like it. I'm sorry. It's definitely a smash. I don't know what else to say about them. It's not my vibe. I'm sorry, little children. Again with the children. What did you think of this episode of Smash or Pass? Did I make the right decision? Let me know what you think in the comments and any ideas you have for the past pieces. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more. I feel like if I saw this at the op shop, I would leave it there. <laughs> That's a little bit weird. I think I was misled <laughs> by their name on that. <laughs> I love.